The Museum of Contemporary Art has a new exhibition, A Walk on the Wild Side, 70s New York. So MoCA senior curator Ilva Rouse is here to tell us all about it. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, this is exciting. So tell us about A Walk on the Wild Side. What is it, what, what, what can we expect? So, lots of fun. Yeah. Lots of different stuff. So, A Walk on the Wild Side, um, as the title says, it's about uh, 70s New York and it's built up around one of the great parts of our collection at MOCA, mm -hmm. uh, the Norman Fisher collection. And it's a, it's a collection of almost 700 pieces. Oh, wow. So really important part of our collection that was donated by Norman's, uh, Norman Fisher's family when he passed away. So this was all his uh, art that he's collected over the yes, years? Yes, and okay. then we've uh, uh, expanded the exhibition okay. with loans. Yeah, That's, that's amazing. Right. So yeah. what types of things will we see then? I mean, uh, we're showing a little bit here. Um, but what types of 70s inspiration? I mean, artists, like as in music artists? Artists as in? It's everything you can think of. Because okay. one of the things that was so amazing about that time in New York is that uh, whether they were musicians or dancers or performers or, or famous people, um, uh, they, they all were working together. Mm -hmm. So that's part of what we wanted to show at the, yeah. In the exhibit. Yeah, I was going to ask, what's the inspiration of wanting to show this off? And maybe using this as the start of the big celebration. Exactly. So since it is our 100th, Hundreds, Ooh, 1924. That's so exciting. <laughs> Which is also crazy, by the way. It's so crazy <laughs> for us to. Um, we thought, what better way to celebrate than to uh, highlight, you know, Norman Fisher was a Jacksonville native, and he played an incredible role in, in uh, the development of contemporary American art. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're seeing different mediums as well. Um, did I see it like a projector screen? Yes, lots of video. Oh, that's lots really of video. cool. Yeah, really fun. And you know, it's all grainy and black and white mm -hmm. because um, it was the beginning of video. Right. So they were they were experimenting. They were really doing fun stuff. Yeah, that's so neat. Uh, how long will this be uh, around for us to view? We have it up until July 7th. Oh, so plenty of time. Plenty of time. And also we have many free days uh, at the museum. Oh. Yeah, thanks to Vice Star and Florida Blue Museum Nights, you can come after work. What? That's wonderful. Okay, yeah. so I know it's probably hard because since there are like 700 pieces or more, what is your favorite though if you had to pick? Give us like an idea of oh my goodness. what you love. That is so hard. Mm. I know, put her on the spot. <laughs> yes, you certainly <laughs> did. I think I have to say Tina Girard. She was a Louisiana a female artist that hasn't gotten the, the attention she should have. She's starting now. She's going to have a big show in New York. Um, but uh, she did a performance that we've recreated. Oh, cool. So you see everything that's, that was part of the, of the performance. That's wonderful. Okay, and then what else are you doing to celebrate the 100 years? I, I believe this is going to be like a year-long celebration, right? Yes, so much good stuff and fun. Uh, it goes from films, covering films, the best films of the century, from Metropolis. Uh, we started off with Metropolis. Uh, and uh, I don't know, community, uh, block parties. Oh, cool. Lots of stuff. Okay, so then how can folks get more information on all the celebra celebratory fun? Yes, so you should go to our website, mukajax.com, uh, and, um, and of course, social media, mukajax. Okay, wonderful. I think we do have it on the screen there. Yeah, at the bottom oh, of the screen, uh, the website there. I probably said it. No, that's okay, but I'm glad we had it as a backup just in case. Well, it was so nice to see you. Thank you so much for telling us all about it. And in a couple of weeks, we will have them back on to talk more in depth about the uh, 100th anniversary. So thank you again. No, thank you for having us. Of course. David?